You hear that, Sith? Nothing like it in the galaxy. The hum of an idling blaster. Potential energy right there. It's like waking up on your birthday wondering what you got. For a few minutes, it's anything. A whole galaxy just waiting for you to pull the trigger. What do you call it? Nah, don't name my blasters. It's a bad idea to get attached. Actually, I was wondering. These blasters are nice, but a pirate's only as good as his equipment. We don't got fancy force powers like you Sith. If I see a good pair come my way, you'd be the first person I think of. Thanks. Good to know you got my back. You're looking for Sash. Well, she's not here. Allow me to introduce myself. Darth Thanaton. Don't worry. I haven't done anything to your master. I'm far too interested in how this game she's playing will turn out. I've waited a long time to meet you. Your rise from the slave pens has been non-traditional, to say the least. I'm never going to hear the end of that, am I? No, you won't. Not until you convince your naysayers of your worth. I'm not concerned with your origins. The trials on Korriban are an honored tradition designed to sift out the unworthy. I trust they've served their purpose. I want to speak to you about your master. Are you still angry about the Scotia incident? The Scotia incident is the least of my concerns. Or your master's transgressions. Darth Sash is arrogant and reckless. The reckless have a way of defeating themselves in the end. When she finally self-destructs, be careful not to get caught in the blast. A young Sith should not associate herself too closely with a master like Zash. A young Sith can't get very far without a powerful master. You must seek your own way. Carve out your own victories. The culty one or Nar Shaddaa was a good first step, but it's not enough. A Sith cannot live without a power base. Good luck. My child, your power has grown since we last met. Your strength will rise and shape the Sith. I feel it. Now, I have another gift for you. One that was dearer to me than even my life. My own lightsaber. Until now, lost to me. But through your great power in the Force, I have found it. You must claim it. So where do I find this lightsaber? I entrusted it to my faithful retainer, Jonas Escalus, the only servant who didn't betray me when Tulak Horde moved against me. He swore he and his heirs would keep it safe until the time that my heir would return to claim it. His heir is on Narshadar, working in one of the casinos there. Her name is Mila Escalus. Go to her and claim your inheritance. Hey, I got a surprise for you. Won it a few years ago in a fight against an animid pirate. Called himself The Fear. Kinda crazy, but great pilot and a great fighter. Blade's just ornamental, but he sure liked to wave it around. Worth a lot of credits from what I hear. And now you're giving it to me? I'm honored. A beautiful weapon for a beautiful lady. I know you got a lightsaber, but I figured you need something to pretty up the walls around here. If I'm not mistaken, I'd say you have a bit of a romantic streak. Careful what you say, but I got a reputation to protect. Mila Escalus, aren't you? I believe you have a lightsaber that belongs to me. I knew this would happen. I warned him, but he wouldn't listen. Please, don't kill me. I'll get the lightsaber back, I promise. You don't have the lightsaber? It 
it's not my fault. It's my father's. Dad was never very smart, but a couple of years ago he topped himself. Put everything we had, lightsaber included, on the sabak table against a sleaze bag named Gil Rosen, a known cheater. Lost it all. Just be happy you're dealing with me, and not my ancestor himself. I warned him. But Mill, he says, you gotta stop believing in myths. Now he's dead, and I'm paying off his debts. All of them. I'd get the lightsaber back, but Rosen has it, and he's holed up in the industrial area. It's too dangerous, and I, I can't exactly afford help. Your cowardice sickens me. <laughs> Look, you want to go? Fine. But I'd get killed. Rosen will have guards everywhere. Oh, and please don't kill me. Only an Aeschylus can open the lightsaber case. It's some kind of genetic lock, so... <laughs> If you get it, bring it here. You shouldn't have come here, Seth. I've got eyes and ears all over this city. I heard all about your little talk with the Aeschylus well. Lucky for you, I'm feeling generous, so I'm willing to make a deal. How about you give me the lightsaber, and I let you live? Look, I'm standing here with Nar Shaddaa's toughest mercenaries. Guys that make the Sith look like school teachers. So, what I'm thinking is, you're gonna listen to me. That's what I'm thinking. Here's what I propose. I give you the lightsaber, and you come work for me as my own personal Sith. That, or you pay me three million credits. I don't think so. All right, then. You made your choice. Boys, kill the Sith. Uh, sir, you, you do realize. No complaints. I don't pay you to complain. Kill her. Kill her. What are you doing? Sorry, boss. You, you can't pay me enough to fight no Sith. Walk away, boys. No one has to get hurt. Yeah, I, I like the sound of that. Boys, let's get out of here while we still have our hides, huh? Wait. This isn't what I pay you for! You fools, you'll never work on Nar Shaddaa again! I'm sick of your voice. <laughs> Look, I'll, I'll make you another deal, okay? I'll give you the lightsaber, you let me live. It's not like you could open the case anyway. I'd rather kill you. Plan <laughs> Pazai? <laughs> Hey, I, look, lay off the lightning this time, okay? Just open this case for me. Yeah, gladly. There. There's your lightsaber. Now go, please. I have no more business with you. The oath's filled now, right? We're even? I think I heard the ship's engine making a strange noise earlier. Mind if I check it out sometime? I didn't know you knew anything about engines. Yeah, I've lived on ships most of my life. You don't do that without picking up something. I'm no expert, but a buddy of mine back before the war taught me most of what I know. Carl Norn, best technician I knew. Worst card player. Could never see when the deck was stacked against him. <laughs> and it always was. Was this one of your pirate friends? My old man ran a shop on one of those planets people only visit if they break down or if they're running from something. Carl stumbled in on a tin can held together by sheer willpower. Well, and the skills of the best mechanic in the galaxy. Made me first mate after the war. On a ship called the Bloodshot Ranker. I learned a lot before he gambled the ship away. But you're sick of hearing me jabber, huh? Apprentice, you have all the artifacts. Excellent. Meet me on Drummond Cars immediately. 
I'm sorry I don't have more time to talk. There is much work to do to prepare the ritual. Look at her. No time to talk. Too busy plotting your demise, cruel witch. You have done well, flesh of my flesh, in seeking out your inheritance. But things are more dire than I suspected. I have discovered the nature of Darth Zash's strange rituals. There is no doubt that she intends to cause you harm. Tell me about these rituals. Zash praises your great strength, yet she fears it. The rituals she performs are to protect her against the Force. Ask yourself, why go to such lengths to defend herself against the Force if she has no intention of fighting you? So, what now? Do not let Zash move first. Arm yourself with anger. Steal yourself with hate. Crush her before she has a chance to strike. And if at all possible, do not face her alone. But bring an ally who can break through her defenses. As you say. Good. I can be no further help to you. I am too weak to face Zash. It depends on you. Just remember, whatever you do, do not enter the Dark Temple alone. Zash is prepared.